Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I would like to share with you how to go about checking the availability of a domain without using a website. So if you're using a Windows machine or if you're using a Mac, I want to share with you how to go and check a domain name and check its availability of whether or not it's been registered. Um, I'm on a Mac and so if you are on a Mac you'll want to go to terminal and when it opens up essentially one of the one of the only commands that you'll need to know is who is without any spaces so who is and then you can type in um, you know whatever domain that you're looking for so I'll type in who is the domains.com and so you can see it basically returns some information and so we typed in who is there highlighted and then basically all of this information has been returned and so you can uh, see who um, this domain is basically registered to you can see the administrative the organizational information the administrative information the technical information um, as well as you can see when it was created, when it was last changed, and whether or not it's active. Um, and then it gives you know basic information here of when it was last updated, uh, what the creation date for that um, domain was. So uh, this was a 1999 creation. And then you can see that it is um, scheduled to renew uh, basically in 2024. Uh, so seven years uh, from this video's uh, date. So um, this is one way that you can, you know, go about seeing who who owns a domain. If the domain is not owned, for instance, um, let's just say you did something like, uh, let's just say kickstartcommerce.xyz. And then you can see that this domain basically it gives you um, the registry information first, which is what we saw with the domains. It was giving the VeriSign uh, information. But then with this domain, you basically see the queried object does not exist, domain not found, which means that this domain is available. Um, and so if we look back at uh, the domains, I mean, obviously you can see that a domain was found um, just based upon, uh, you know, the information that you can see here in terms of where it says source. And so um, we can see that that domain is found versus a domain that is not found. And so that's it. You just need to know that simple um, command for terminal who is space and then whatever the domain name is. Now, if you're on a Windows box, um, one of the things that I want to encourage you if you are on a Windows box is Windows, um, you can use the Windows command prompt uh, for who is, but you'll need to download uh, basically a free who is tool called sys internals who is. Um, and it's a single file that you can put into your C Windows uh, directory so you can get the who is from anywhere at the command prompt just like uh, Max Terminal gives when you're using who is. And so I hope that helps you. Let me know if you have questions. Please feel free to drop me um, a comment or questions below the video here. Also, I encourage you to subscribe to the Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel. Uh, where I release a weekly tutorial of some sort, basically fashion behind showing you how to use uh, different search marketing and domain investing uh, strategies, tips, tricks, and ideas to grow your business. Uh, last but not least, please head over to kickstartcommerce.com, subscribe to my daily and weekly um, e-newsletter there so you can be notified when I release new content whether it's video or written content so um, go there subscribe and last but not least look around and I hope that you gain 
uh, search marketing and domain name investing um, insight to grow your business. That's all for now. See you around the next tutorial.